no, I'm such a dipstick. Hi guys. Yeah, it's still. I cancelled it back. And, oh, I'm such a dipstick. Hi Angie, I cancelled it by accident, so I'll give it a few more minutes for the ladies to join us. I'm such a donut. I pressed the button. I'm not, I won't be pressing any buttons. Usually Chris sets for me and I don't know what made me press. There was something on the screen. And I pressed it and it sort of disappeared. <sighs> I'll tell the other ladies where we're at now. Um... Guys, go on to the next video. It's called Tea. Oh, yes, got me back, Angie. I'm sorry, ladies. I can't. I. Oh, what can I say? <laughs> there was something on the screen and it was annoying me, and I pressed it and it just cancelled it. So I'll wait a few minutes for everybody to join us. I'm such a nana. I hope every managed. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Dawn. I cancelled it by accident, I did. Never mind. I won't touch it. I promise I will not touch the screen. <laughs> I'll concentrate on the desk. <laughs> I give it a few more minutes for the other ladies to join us. Magical mystery tour tonight. I know. I'm sorry, Polly. I promise I will not touch that screen again. Tell you what. You know how you can play musical chairs? Well, I'm just playing musical uh, videos. <laughs> oh, goodness, is me. We're all having fun here. I'm glad someone is. <laughs> no, I am so sorry. Right, anyway, I will not touch the screen. I'll stick to my desk. My fingers will be on the desk or the laces tonight, <laughs> not on the screen. Never mind. You'll soon get used to me, everybody will. I wrote before I lost you that I got into my stitches out. Oh, brilliant, Angie. <laughs> I have been thinking about you. Um, me too. It's always fun, Claire. I'm glad you guys think that. <laughs> I'm doing something great. <laughs> oh, I hope the other ladies managed to join us. Never mind. Right. So, I'll I'll tell you what I got on my table. Nobody's come over. Right, lost you there for a minute. Yeah, I know. We're playing musical uh, videos tonight. Musical videos. Right, so what we got? We've got uh, basket flow laces. Now, in my the oh, internet, you would just say that it was fuzzy. Nine watching. Thank you, Angie. It's, it's the internet. I don't know why it's fuzzy. There we are. Is that much clearer? Yeah, because I'm looking at that picture on your phone. Can anybody tell me whether the picture's clear? If you could just write in the live and let me know if the picture's clear. Because it's listening to buffering a bit. Yeah, I know. I can see that it's buffering. You can see that it's buffering. Please. Yeah, I'm probably getting him all the internet. <laughs> it's Chris's fault. He's on the Xbox, ladies. On the Xbox, he's taking up all my internet, so he's going to come off. So it'll, that will hopefully stop the buff buffering. I'm back. The cats were happy. 
um, the blue emelina. It's not bad. We're a bit fuzzy. Yeah, Chris is going to come off the Xbox. He's um, he's taken up all my internet, so he's got orders to come off the Xbox. Otherwise, I'll have all you ladies unhappy. And I've told him it's not a good sight. <laughs> um, so I've got, like I say, I've got a basket full of laces in here. There's ribbon. There's this is called um silk sahari ribbon um and i bought it in a ribbon form because i'm doing some ribbon embroidery um never done it before and i thought about doing it i haven't got that far if you want ladies want to have a, a little peek at what i'm doing then i'll show you so this is my ribbon embroidery can you see how i've started it there i've started it above you it's a lot better than what it was started it down here so there's the leaves then we've got the hat and everything so that bring man back nasca so i've started it um and that's why i've bought the silk i think it's called silk sahari ribbon it's pure silk. Um, you can do so many beautiful things, Claire. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Wow, I'm very impressed. This lovely clock. Well, I am finished yet. That's just the start of it. Now, that is my first ever attempt at ribbon embroidery. I've never tried it before. Um, and I'm actually following a book. I'm learning for the first time out of a book. I can't remember what the book's called, but it's got fairy patterns in. How to do the flower um, ribbon, how to do the flowers and the leaves and what way to twist the ribbon to get it a certain way. So I've been practicing on that. Um, yeah, so, so I've got some of this to use on the project tonight because I thought it'd be, we might want to use it. Then I've got some wide, um, wide, ribbon plain one they've got some lace um i've got some ribbon with some patterns on just all sorts and a very wide variety but i can't speak wide variety of laces so that's my laces and obviously i've got my doily box next to me as well this is one of the laces i absolutely love now i got this hmm it was at off something and I took it off and all it is and I think I'm gonna give it a go tonight and make something similar to that to put on the teapot um, and all it is it's a bit of cord a bit of ribbon a bit of the beaded trim so a bit of that trim but thinner and a patterned ribbon and they've made that what an idea how to make it i often look at things like that and think oh how's that made or how how can i i often look at something and think wow is how is that made sometimes i might take it apart and then forget how it was done and i'll completely forget how it was <laughs> i know so um i might have a go and make him one of them tonight because i want one to go around this teapot because it's only small this teapot is one two it's two inches by three the teapot is so it's only small so you can see if i was to do that how small it actually is so i thought to have a go at making that if not use it then i've got the plate now the plate is one, two, three, four inches by four. So again, tiny. So we're gonna have a go making that as well. Um, because I'm doing a pin cushion for the teapot, I've got some these are buttons. Now they're not obviously buttons, but they're spools, obviously. But these um I bought in a pack. I went to one of these craft craft fairs, Malvin craft fair, and it was a quilting show. Um, and they had all different stalls there. Could have spent all day there. Actually, we did, 
but they was um they were on there for three days and we actually went me me and my mother and uh yeah what what talent i mean when you look at quilting and how it's done wow so i've got some these are actual buttons so i've got like a thimble button um they were just really unusual now i have got scissors um and there is a pin so there's a pair of scissors there the spools are like different sizes different widths where's that um pin here the pin is this is the needle so i thought they would look perfect on the tea plate once we've decorated it up i was thinking about putting flowers and i thought mm, no i'm gonna stick to sewing because i'm doing this as a pin cushion i want to follow it through onto the tea plate so i've got them my side uh, by the side of me um and then just bits i mean this is what i keep like all my different bits and pieces that i want to put on my project um i may not use them all but that's how i normally have my desk so this little tray isn't big at all it is two four six eight by two four six it's eight inches by six inches and i always put like beads um buttons bit of bling anything that i can that i'm going through my boxes and i think oh wow um, I want to put them on my projects so I always keep a little tray next to me so that was that um, I don't know whether I've showed you my basket now this is my basket of just odds and ends really things I can't put in a box um, like the, there's leaves there's a bit of lace the odd ends of lace there's um, leaves are they buttons? Yeah, they are, Angie. They they were a pack of eight, ten, and they were that little bit expensive to buy, but um, it was I don't know. They were just unusual. I wanted to see them, so love that one. I like that too. Is Fee watching you? If so, hi Fee. I don't know if Fee is watching me. If she is, hi Fee. <laughs> I, I don't know I can't see who's watching on YouTube but if she is hello Fiona uh, how cute they are they're so cute they're very cute are they buttons yeah they are were buttons hi miss hello Ellen hi Ellen so like I say just bits and pieces now I've got these these were and I don't know whether the camera will pick them up these are vintage rose mini hearts. They they come in they come like this. So this is like your PayPal receipt, and then they sort of come with salad tape over them so you don't lose them in the envelope. And there's two, four, six, two, four, six, eight, ten, ten in a pack. Now I had those type, so they're the oval type, and then the um hearts now i don't know where the heart is but yeah they were 99p for 10 off ebay so like i say i thought i'd show you what i got around me before i begin my project so i've got that then i've got this scissors now i'm gonna put it on you actually i might put a bit of felt in there so you can see so I'm going to put a bit of felt there so you can see what I'm doing now this scissors was on top of a old sewing box that I bought off eBay um <clears throat> excuse me did the box up and I didn't put this back on I used other stuff but for me to get it off it kind of sort of snapped in three and it's a vintage uh made out of resin scissors see 
Uh, Angie says I clap buttons. I have jugs of them. Oh wow, Angie. I do love my buttons. What kind of buttons, Angie? Yeah, what kind of buttons do you collect? Do you collect the all sorts? Have pretty patterns on them. I got all sorts of different buttons. I love buttons because there's so much you can do with them. Just any kind. I love pearl buttons or unusual ones. Yeah, me too, Polly. Definitely. So, um, this isn't a button, of course. This is just a resin scissors. But when it came off the box, like I say, I snapped it in three bits. And I've kept the three bits because I want to stick it on the plate tonight. But I'm going to colour it before I stick it. So I'm going to keep it in this dish. Otherwise, I'm going to lose it. Then I've got some paints around me now i'll have to get my brushes because i did forget to get my brushes out i've got some cosmetic shimmers i don't know which one i'm going to use so i've got um this green one it's sort of like it reminds me of like a you know a puddle on the floor but like that but in green that's what it reminds me of because it's got like the little lines running through it and that one's called Soft Moss. I've got the brown one if I wanted to use it. This one's Chestnut. Now this bring, this is gorgeous when it actually comes up. So I quite like using that one. We've got this one. It's like um, a cream with dots of orange in. That's beautiful to use. And that's Mango Blush. Um, this is a pink one. This is Graceful Pink. As you can see I've... My bottle is not that much left in it, so I've been using that. And this one is like a cream. That's the only way to describe it. And that's Graceful Mustard. So that's that. So those are my cosmetic shimmers. Then I've got my Dis Distress Spray Stain. I can never say it all in one word. Um, and that's Walnut Satin. That's the the actual color of it this is absolutely beautiful when they when you spray something and it comes out it's gorgeous so i haven't got what i call gesso it's actually gesso but i always call it gesso um so instead i've got some white acrylic paint and i've got some um light pink it's called pink harmony Wilk wilkinson's emulsion now Wilkinson's is a bit like it's got all bits and bobs in and um, you can buy the little pots like this for about 60p but it is emulsion but I love using these because there's so much you can do with them and they um, like it's about 60 pence for a little bottle but go and have a look in the sales because when you pick them off the shelf they do whack the prices on them when they're on the shelf when they're in the little for sale trolley you'll find that the price has gone down loads so go and have a look at them Polly says but it's a bit pricey oh cosmetic shimmers no I had these in the sale I didn't pay full price these shop and oh gosh how much were they if he's watching she'll be able to tell me and it's buffering again um uh 152 pound something like that for a bottle we had them on sale so i've bought them when she's had them on sale um i when i buy paints or i buy shimmers or um oh gosh what are these called can't remember what these are called they're 220 thank you angie um i can't remember what these are called crystal remember but i always buy things like that in the sale i always look at what i can because put it this way if you have a look at what's in the sale right you can and this is how i work you can buy something in the sale and then grab something else say you only got like 10 pound pocket money you can pick the, I don't know, two of these up. What, two, did Angie say they were like two pounds, something like that each? So that's four, and then you've got like another six pound to spend on something else. So 
But like I say, have a look in the sales. Have a look in the for sale um, Wilkinson's basket. If you're overseas and you're in America, um, have a look. I mean, when you Fees keeps telling me that in America they've got like containers for sale containers, and when you go and have a look in there, you'll find that you can pick up hardly you can pick up what you want for hardly anything. Uh, Angie said, sorry I mess, mess what those, what, you m missed what those was, my sister called and I was, have to told her not to call when you and V are on, oh bless you. <clears throat> Angie, uh, Shirley says, I thought they were two pound and I think they're about two pounds ish, I can't remember, what did you miss Angie, I mean, I've got the Wilkinson's emulsion pots, um, the cosmetic shimmer sprays the distress spray satin again i didn't pay full whack for this i looked in the sale and then the white acrylic paint and i can't think what these are called off the top of my head can't think is it gesso acrylic paint or pva gloom no i neither my white acrylic paint and i'll use it now in a second um it's thick it's cold it's by the company Reeves, spelt R W E V E S, and it's white acrylic, fine artist quality paint. That's what it's called. Liquid pearl effects. Yes, that's it. Yeah, Dovercraft pearl effects. Why didn't I think to read the bottle? <laughs> what the first bottle was? Oh, these. I'll come back to them in a second. Um, but yes, these. This paint is thick it's not uh watery i got it from the range and you know where you, when you go in you get all the paints sort of lined up on the shelf well this one was actually hung um and again looked in the sale what was the first part right so the first bottle I, i'll tell you what the first bottle is and then i'll start my project this was called pink harmony they are um i get them from a shop called wilkinson's it's like um, home refurbishment, that type of shop. It's got paint, it's got uh, toiletries in. It, it's just all different things in it. And these are uh, Wilkinson emulsion paints. Now, when you look on the shelf, they're about three, four pound when you go and buy them. But when you have a look in the basket, in the for sale basket, they go down to about 60p which I don't know what that is in American, but it's, you're looking at least half the price off. Um, I looked on Fee's shop for the name. <laughs> Thank you. Um, same here, but I thought it was the 3D. It is. It is 3D pearl effects. Um, I mean, I mean, you can make gesso with a white acrylic and PV. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know you can make gesso with white acrylic and PV. I'm gonna have to have a go now. They're about five pound on eBay last time I looked. No, the bottles be tied besides that. Yeah, these emulsion, brilliant for that type of projects. So I've got those. Those are my paints. You've seen my lace. Um, I've got my bits and bobs box. It's got all doilies and the ends of odds laces. So that's what's in there. I've got a sponge because I'm not gonna actually spray the thing i'm going to dab in instead so i'm going to start off with the plate first oh no wait a sec because i need to work out i'm going to bring you down and over i need to work out where i'm going to put my uh teapot my keyboard on my phone oh bless you not to worry right so i want i don't want my teapot sitting like that i could have it sitting like that but i want it a bit different should we say so i might have it just by the side because i, I want to use this lid as well so because i want it by the side i'm just there's my glue gun plugged in Oops. Um, 
sent it. Oh, I can't even mail it in. Um, I'm just plugging my glue gun in, ladies. Oh. I'm sorry for the shaking. Right. My glue gun is plugged in. Angie, was it Angie Paisley that asked me a question on how I clean my glue gun today? Somebody asked, and I'm sure it was you, Angie, um, how I clean my glue gun. Don't let me forget it because I really want to show you how I do it. Um, so, I'm going to work on the teapot first. I've got my laces beside me. Now, I don't want to keep the I love you on it. And though it's nice, I want to do my teapot um, a, a bit my style. So, I'm going to get a little tab. Now, I use like tabs, ice cream lids, ice cream lids, yogurt lids, or um, any sort of tab like that. You, ca I have seen people put the paint directly on the mat, um, but I think it would drive me insane having the paint there. So, it's not watery, this paint isn't. Um, I'm just needing a brush. Okay, brush. I always keep my brushes in like a wheelie bin. It just helps when I need them. Right, that's a bit stiff, but I'm going to use them. I've got a wet wipe here, and I'm just softening the bristles out a little bit. Here we go. So I'm covering the whole teapot. Now it's not going to be neat when I first do it. Um, because it will probably need more than two coats of, or one coat of paint. But don't forget, even though I'm putting this acrylic paint on, I'm also going to be putting on the emulsion. Now, I'm just slapping the paint on. That's why you speak. But with these teapots, have a look. Have a look around because you can. I have seen them since showing you guys what I picked up. I have actually seen them in the charity shops. See, it is quite thick, this paint is. That's why I love using it. It's not like... Um, it's not like the... Um, it's not like the... Um, the usual paint that you would pick up. Now, I need to unplug my glue gun to plug the hairdryer in. Now I haven't got, oh sorry, you plugged in, I haven't got um, um, a proper hair dryer, or hair dryer, a craft dryer, I think it might be on my wish list for Christmas you know guys, I haven't got one, so instead I use an old hair dryer, um, Angie says you could use paper plate that way you don't have to clean up. Yep, yeah, that's true. Is anyone crafting while we're watching Colette? Oh, bless you, Dawn. No, don't want to miss mess anything. Unfortunately, not. My computer is away from my table. I'm not. I am not as stuff is not near me. <laughs> so excuse the noise. This is going to go on.
tacky now. It's not dry, but it is tacky. Mm. So this is where I'm going to put the next coat on. Now, if you notice, I'm not painting the handle as of yet. So, while I'm doing this, I can tell you what I've been doing today. Um, on my group, on my Facebook group, we have had the three themes out of the hat. Um, 1920s, women's suffragettes, and what was the other one? Romance. And I have been working on something for 1920s. I can't tell you, but all I can say at the minute, but I will do a video once it's finished, I promise and show you. Um, but all I'll say is it's for 1920s and I've stuck with the theme and the colours so you can imagine what I've been crafting. It's something to go on your wrist. So that's what I've been doing today. And of course, you know, thinking about being forced to do this teapot. It's just terrible. I do you know what? Just absolutely terrible. <laughs> right, that has been two coats. And as you can see, that I need to dry it. But at the moment, it's covered it. As you can see that is well that's dry practically dry not completely and that's the way I like it because and that's how thick it is so that's why I don't use um, ghetto that's why <laughs> now just cleaning my surface a little bit now I've got this like I say, this emulsion. Now, with emulsion, you've got to give it a good shake. And I always paint from the lid, never the bottle. So I want a good amount to be on the lid when I open it. Uh, I've Sorry, I was naughty. Slipped away to buy some shimmer mist. <laughs> what are you like, Shannon? Okay. So that's the colour of the paint. It's a real nice baby pink. Okay, this bris bristles are quite nice. Now, I want the spout and the handle to be a different colour. So I'm not going to paint the handle pink. I'm just going to paint the body, if you like, um, pink. Now, this is not as thick as the... Um, Um, I'm trying to think now. The white acrylic. You could thicken it up if you wanted to. I quite like it being the way it is. Um, and with me putting that coat of white acrylic underneath, um, it gives you that bit of texture as well. And that's why I don't completely dry it. Because when you completely dry, um, especially when you're using white acrylic, when you completely dry it, you don't get the texture. Now, I love the te textures and stuff. I absolutely... I, if I can feel it, or if I can see it's raised, I fall in love with it immediately. 
So, can you see? And I don't know whether the camera will be, see the texture, where it's just bumpy. It's like as if I've used um, um, tissue paper. That's the that's the effect it gives me. I love it, absolutely love it. And gee, I am. It's only my. It's only my face. Craftaholic. Yes, certainly, Shannon. I'm with you. If it gets too dark, ladies, you'll have to let me know because I can turn the light on. And since I love pink, I want the body of this to be as pink and girly as I can possibly get it. Right, can you see the texture on that? I don't know whether it's picking it up. Do you see the texture here? And there? That's what you get when you haven't dried it completely. And that's what I love about um, the acrylic paint. I'm not saying you might not get that when you do a used guess, um, gesso, gesso. <laughs> All I'm saying is that when I use white acrylic paint, I love the effect it gives me after I haven't dried it completely. Absolutely love the effect. So I'm going to dry it now. Dries pretty quick as well. that's dry so I'm going to give it a second coat Oops. I'm sorry you're watching paint dry ladies with the white with the emulsion as well because you're using emulsion it does dry really quick so can you imagine it being on walls and I'm using this teapot is pottery, so it's not plastic. Right, can you see the colour on that? It's absolutely stunning. I love the effect on it. My my youngest daughter, my youngest, Chandler says, my youngest daughter's the bookworm. She gets signed copies to read and blog on. Oh, wow. Um, I'm loving the shade of pink. I like the pink and sage green. That's the bedroom with my pink roses. That's gorgeous, Angie. I'm going to dry it again. It doesn't take a lot to dry it because you use an emulsion. painting the bottom because you won't see it Oops. right can you see that that's dry completely dry so I'm going to put that to one side I'm going to put the lid on my paint for the minute um, while I'm at it, I'm going to just quickly paint this saucer because I want the saucer to be the same. And I'm not being neat with my paint, I'm just putting it on any old shape. Yes, I did. I'll tell you a story about that in a second. Let me try this. My nan always used to say to me, um, Shannon's, Shannon says, is that his? Yes, it's an old hairdryer, Shannon. That's the only thing I've got. 
looks much better than the original pot pretty pink thank you polly my dad was the book love in our family and uh, shelly says i think you said pink and green should never be seen the other day but i think it's blue and green i think anything that goes any way this year seems to be pink and orange in fashion i use a hairdryer too right my nan and i can hear her every time i'm in the craft room and i want to put pink and green together she always used to say to me pink and green should never be seen clat don't put pink and green together it should never ever be seen so i would go oh, right okay pink and green should never be seen and one day i had something on that was pink and i had a necklace on that was green um and it didn't have that much green in it but it was just the slightest green and she sat there she went Claire, oh and yes man remember what i've told you oh what nan pink and green should never be seen and i'm like i haven't got green on that yes you have I said, no i am there's green in your necklace so every time i'm in the craft room now and i'm doing pinks and i'm thinking oh do you know that that pretty green thing would go lovely with this pink i've got my nan in the back of my mind and her voice going pink and green should never be seen yes so it's my nan to thank for that one ladies <laughs> oh, please. Again, I haven't dried it completely. It's tacky. So, oh, I put the lid back on. Manana. I thought about doing the painting before the video, and I thought, nah, because I paint a different way to what I've seen others do. And even though you watch paint dry right? um you'll see the way i'm doing it so i thought no I'll, I'll show them on film and that's why i didn't paint it on film so i'm gonna this will probably need well i should say it'll need one coat it won't need two but we'll see how we go on oh, no. don't need the white anymore Is it getting dark, ladies? Does need a second coat. If it's getting dark, I'll knock my light on. gonna let that dry off it is dry um i can put my finger on it but because i won't need it i've got to tidy up my work service now so bear with me good ladies and then i can talk to you as i'm doing it any questions why do they say pink and green should never be seen i've never heard that I don't know whether it's an old saying or what. Um, it's just something my nan used to say to me. It could be an old saying, you know. Could be an old saying. Right, okay. Put the lid back on this. Right, that's the paint paint out of my way 
and I've got my brushes here in case I want to touch up but I don't think I will need to like I say if it gets too dark you'll have to let me know now um I might use I'm gonna use this but I think I'll show you how it's done because um yeah because I haven't seen anybody do it and I think I've got a way of doing it so let me see this is my sort of bits bits and bobs box so we need a bit of this get rid of that hair dryer first right um there's my thing right in this we have a bit of cord bit of beading and a fancy trim so i'm gonna go in my box i think i'm gonna use this my silk sahari silk for my cord um yeah because i'm just looking now yeah N yeah and i'm gonna find a nice patterny sort of thin ribbon to go in there then there's my thin ribbon. See how that's real super thin? And then you've got that one. Super thin. You need... Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll use them. Right. I think I'm going to use... Um, for my middle one. I haven't got a patterned uh, ribbon brown me so I'm going to use one of these so what you need to do now in there they've got a pattern ribbon a cord a piece of sort of gold ribbon and the beading but I'm going to just do three cut this off because it's got a knot in but I'm not going to throw it away never throw your scraps away you don't know when they'll come in and I'm going to cut my piece of Sahari silk to two four six eight ten ten inches okay there's my sahagi's cut um then i'm going to use this so i don't know whether um any of you ladies watched the live that i did on saturday four six eight ten um but I shared some ideas that I was going to do for my next upcoming projects. And um, one of those projects I'm going to be doing on my next live show. Um, so, not cured that old. Yeah, I love all the colours. I use whatever comes to mind at the time I'm crafting. Yeah, same, same year, Dawn. Um, I'm 58 years old and was seven years old when I first heard that phrase Lordy I think I know my day Shannon Shelly yes I agree all the colour combos are fun to try pink is something special though uplifting and there's so many vibrations through the spectrum yeah that's true and she said I'd love to have a book of old saying that you could use in the old days my husband's 58 and I'm the baby she's 53 see I, I'm the baby as well between me and Chris He's, he's getting old now. I won't tell him we said that. So, this is how I'm going to do it. Um, because they've plaited it, what more they've done is plait it. I'm going to tie this end with, I'm trying to think, with a piece of um, this. I can't take it down because it's looped on my spool. It's a piece of like, I don't know what you'd call it. It's pure wool um, and it's just a thread. So that's what I'm going to do. Move that to one side a minute. Got my bead in. So I've got all three. I've got the Sahari silk because that's the widest. The, the other bit of ribbon because that's the thinnest out the two. And that is... About a centimetre wide. Um, 
that Sahari silk is an inch. So you've got an inch, a centimetre and then the beading. You can use as many layers as well with this. This is why it is so much fun to do. Now I'm going to... I've got a piece of um, fancy ribbon. Um, well, pure ribbon wool. I don't know whether you all remember, but it he was selling it in a shop. Um, and that's what I'm going to use. Now I've tied it round. So I've got the loop here, folded it in half. Let me do that again. Folded this in half. And I've put where the loop is, I've put... So you turn your all your ribbons to the side you have your loop facing up and then you turn this three times turn it three times so one it's a bit fiddly so, but when you get there two three Take it to the back, so decide which is going to be your back and which is going to be your front. This is going to be my back. And make a knot. You've left your loop there, so use your loop to make the knot with. And that's how you do it. Right. Don't cut these ends off, because that's what we're going to use as well in the thing, in my little... I'm going to just cut this beading down because it is a bit too long. Right, and here we go. So, lay your pieces out and you're going to plait it. Now, with this, they've they've doubled up. Because they're using uh, two, four, five pieces, they've doubled up. They're using the thickest piece of ribbon as just one piece, but the other two pieces... But the other two, like the cord and the ribbon, is one thread, one strand. And then you've got the ribbon and the beading is another strand. Because you're plaiting it. I don't know what it's called in America when you um, plait. So, have your... My Sahari is going to be in the middle. And I want my pure wool strands to be each end. So when I'm plaiting, it, it it's alternates. This is how I start off a plait. So just pretend like you're plaiting somebody's hair or if you've never done it before, this is how I would do it. Take your thickest ribbon, bring it over to your right so you braid in. I thought it was called something. Thank you. Is it Di Diana? I'm pronouncing that right? So bring your thickest ribbon over to your right so now you've got the beading and the wool in the middle. Um, yeah. Your wool and your beading over to your left. Now you've got the wool and the ribbon in the middle. And that's how you do it. So you, your sahari now goes in the middle at the back. And you just work. So I'm working from front to back. Some people work from back to front. And you just plait it. And if it gets out of shape, which it is doing, don't panic. The other, the other little tip I've got for you, and because I'm showing you guys how to do it, otherwise I would do it, you can tape this end to your table so it doesn't move when you're plaiting. It always stays in the same place. And this is how they've done it. Um... It's a clever little thing to do because it gives you that effect that you would normally, well, I've done it once or twice and every time I've done it, it gives me a different effect. Now I'm going to keep going down the line until I run out of cord. You could do it, you could use cord, you could use, well you could use anything, thread, cord, lace. If you've got thin enough lace. Now I'm using, like I say, ribbon, beading and pure wool. And you just plait it. So, like I was saying, last, is it Saturday I did the live? 
um, I was showing you guys, well, telling you guys more like, how, what ideas I've got for Duke for upcoming projects. Can anybody remember the ideas that I was saying? Um, because I was going to ask you, what project would you like me to do next? What project are you guys going to force me to do next? You twisted my arm to do that fairy tea and cup and saucer. I would have done the teapot sooner, you know. Uh, yeah. So what project would you like me to do next? Now I've got the little fairy project to do in the fairy house. Um, I've got the shoe to do. Oh, my houses. Mm, now that is an idea. Right. Can you see? That is my plat. Now, loose, I've done that pretty tight. That's why it's giving me a tight plat or braid. Um, they've done theirs quite loose, so you can see each layer. But I quite like the look of that. So can you see that? See? Because I'm using cream as well, um, it, I'm not going to have like the different colours that they've got. Now, what I was thinking was, I've run out of the wool. I should have cut the wool a little bit longer. You showed, yes, you showed the beautiful houses towards, yes, to the fairy house. Shoe, please, 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 please. I remember the house. I think it should be next. Mmm. I lay you ladies debate on it. So the way I would tie it now is how I tied the top. Except if you would tie the top how you've tied the bottom, it might not give you the look that you're after. Now I want my ends to sort of join. So the way to do it is, so you've got your top facing to your table. Now I've run out on one of the walls. It's just there. I'm just going to pull him out a little bit. Not too much so I don't deserve it. And I'm going to tie the, the wide ribbon with the two pieces. Just once. And then I'm going to tie the wide ribbon with the braid and the other two pieces. Just once. Now you don't have to do it tight, you can knot it the way you've done the top, but that is how they've done the braiding. Now I bet you guys didn't know how to do that. <laughs> I remember the house, I think it should be next. The fairy house. Hmm, there's an idea. I'm going to use this in my project because it's um, got cream and gold in. I'm just going to cut off the ends. And because we tied the top, I can now cut the top off. But you do want you want to do a real catch watch because we love your work. Oh, thank you, Angie. I was only asking because um, I gave you some ideas, didn't I, what I was going to do with my projects. So that is my plait. Now, since my paint has dried on there, I'm going to go back. I am going to use this, but I want to use this first. Right, my glue gun. Now I think I unplugged my glue gun, so I need to plug him back in. Oh, come on. Oh. Here we are. Right, teacup. I'm waiting for my glue gun to now don't forget you can do your teacup whatever the way you like to do just an idea that's occurred to me you could do my Matt Hatter's tea party you know from Alice in Wonderland and have like an old old hat and old salt that would be excellent I'm going my glue gun's just warming up but I'm going to use my braid my paint is completely dry I'm, I can hold that cup now um, and I'm going to use my braid just at the top of the brim of the cup. I want my ends to be where that handle starts. So if I do that again, the ends where the handle starts, you don't see it. 
and literally glue all the way around till you come to a stop. Now I'm going to cut because the end be here because I took it off. Like I said, I took it off something and I can't think what I took it off. Um, it's quite tough for you. So I just want to trim that end off. I can't even remember what I took it off, you know. But whatever it was, gave me the... Um, gave me this. I'm going to glue it all the way around. And then stop it there so i need to glue cut a little bit more of this yep right let's see if this glue gun's on any questions mm, glue gun's not on i've i've had a conversation with my glue gun tonight ladies i have do you want to know what the conversation went like you're not gonna burn me you're not going to burn me. You're not going to burn me. That's what the conversation went like. And he said, yes, Claire, I understand everything you're saying. And I will not burn you tonight. <laughs> so I'm going to... Now, when you glue on metal or pottery, it dries really quick. So just be aware of that because it does dry really quick. I'm going to put my glue on the ribbon because then I can mess about a bit where the, it is going to go. Whereas if I, if I put them on the pottery first, I'm not going to get, I'm not, it's not going to, I'm not going to have that option. Did she listen? Well, I think she better have done. I'm just going to bring it around now. Can you see how that's building up? bring it around again and I'm just going to glue that end in see see how pretty that is is your glue gun one of those that can reach very yes it is yes the can't go I love working with teacups and teapots oh me too since I've been doing stuff like this I have now, I'm going to do the same with this but Mm, no, I'm not going to do the teacup yet. I'm not going to do the saucer yet, as of yet. I'll tell you why in a second. So now I've got that, I want something to set it off. Now, I have got this. Let's see if it's a little bit big. This is beading on a piece of ribbon. And one side is where the elastic where they've stitched it to. Um, and that side, um, you can see when you look at it. Now, I'm going to go halfway down and I'm going to stick my, but there, you see that guys? Halfway down. I'm going to cut it to an angle as well because I want it coming in to that spout. Cut it to an angle. I'm going to cut some off here. Usually I would take the spool with me, but not tonight. Right. Uh, one side's got the elastic. Now it's that side that's got the elastic. So again, put the glue on the ribbon. It's not just the glue gun. I scalded my hand yesterday, pouring water into my coffee cup. Ooh. Polly, that sounds nasty. Yes, be very. It will be. Oh, ouch! That sounds really nasty. I hope you didn't burn yourself too much. I say too much, but even that is um nasty. Right now, I can maneuver this round, which I'm gonna do. And the reason I've done it halfway down, I'm going to, um, what do you call it, pinch it in so I get a ton of beads on my teapot. So again, put some glue on your ribbon 
and then put it on oh put it on to your put it on to your teapot now I'm gonna there see see how that's dandling I'm not worrying too much about this end because I can always um, alter this top end. Again, bring it round. Now, because it's a round teapot, I am going to get find it difficult to go in a straight line. And that's one of the reasons why I'm pinching it round rather than um, pulling it because... If you imagine a teapot is round, if you go to pull it straight, you're, you're never going to do it. So because I want it to go at the end here, I might take, I think I will, It'll take. I'm going to take my ribbon through the handle. Through the handle. And then put it through there. If I can, I don't know whether I can. No, it's going to be too big. So I'm going to cut it off at an angle by you. Where's my, where's my little cup? There he is. There we are. Can you see? They say don't... Oh, I read them. I missed that. Um, I have a tip, girls. When I burn myself with hot glue, always, I put a bit of pure Vaseline on the burn. Pain goes away in a wink. Oh, wow. I'll have to remember that tip. I keep an, a cup of ice water near. I always burn my fingertips. They say don't put your grease on burns, but I don't know. I put my hand in cold water and that helped a lot. Wow. Ch I always have pasta on hand. Dreadful, my paper kids. Our hands are important for crafting. I know, ain't they just? So I don't know whether this is gonna be long enough, but the way I'm gonna this is my little tip to you guys. That tip of Vaseline mind that I'm nowhere near that, but I shall remember it because I'm always burning myself with a glue gun. Um because this is on a strand and I'm pinching it, the way I'm gonna count so I need enough to go the other side is by counting the pearls. So I've got two, four, six, eight, nine, nine dandelies on the side. So let me see if I've got nine here. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Yeah, I have. Just going to cut above that. Again, don't throw your odds and ends away. And I'm going to cut that to an angle. Because I want it to go around the spout. It's got elastic one side. Oops. And I'm going to bit there. Right. And I'm going to pinch him up. Well, ladies, I have had um, I've had such amazing support of this YouTube channel, and I can't thank you enough for that. I um I need to tell you this, and I'm sorry, but I do. I had a message under one of my videos. And the message went something like, um, keep doing your videos, you're amazing. Here is um, a piece of music that I have created to help you along with your videos. And that amazing? I was beaming from year to year. I love all your um, comments, don't get me wrong, but I just thought that was so amazing. Now, I haven't done that in a straight line, but it's near enough and I've got the dandelies. Go with it, see? So, I'm going to see now if this looks a little bit too much. No, it doesn't. 
see how that's coming on again cut it at an angle to get round your spout and around your handle but yeah somebody somebody's actually created me a piece of music to uh do my videos with thought that was amazing So I don't know who said it, I'm sure it was Angie P, Angie Paisy, um, but there was a comment left today and it was a question and the question was how do I clean my glue gun? Very carefully for starters, um, I know, really thoughtful. Um, so I clean it very carefully with starters. I never clean the spout um, because I, I don't know really how to, as in without burning my fingers. But everything else, can you see how that's coming on? I love the pinks in there. Absolutely love the pinks. Is that going a bit too dark, ladies? Um, it's lovely to be appreciate. We appreciate you a lot. Thank you, Shannon. Here, where I'm from, we have a plant to put our burns in. Plant? Oh, my days. It wasn't me, but I'd like to know. Right, glue gun. I, I don't clean the spout because, like I say, I don't know how to without burning my fingers. But I get a spatula and while it's on, I go up the sides with it where's my spatula gone so i'll show you now so literally because this has been on just literally go up the sides with it and it brings up all the glue um that is my only thing i would say and that's how i clean my glue gun but while it's on but be really careful when you take the glue off the spatula if you do it by the spout it melts the spatula so i don't know how to clean the actual spout of it but that's how i clean my glue gun so yeah i'm gonna stick that there i think i might turn the light on you know ladies it's getting a bit dark stick this down i'll turn the light on I didn't realise you had plants. Yes, the aloe vera. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. Now you said that. Now I'm going to cut mine at an angle again because of that spout. I'm a little teapot, short and spout. Use my handle and use my spout. Anybody ever heard that song before? There we are. See? And I haven't gone crazy with the decoration either because it's only little. I'm going to put the light on, ladies, because it's getting a bit dark. So if I take this one out, that's a bit dry, I think. And that one in. That will give me my light. Is that a bit better, ladies? So there is my teapot now remember the, those buttons i showed you right at the very beginning i'm going to put that aside a minute um i haven't forgotten about the lid i'm going to do something with the lid but you remember those buttons i showed you right at the very beginning can anybody remember them um i'm going to use them but i'm go i'm going to search for in my doily box going to search for a small doily that will go on here uh, I could go white like them like that see and just use that one or I could have something like that Um, it's turning out thank you it's turning out so beautiful um, I do it is good natural remedy for many things the alavina is it's so i used to do um aromatherapy and oils and all that and it is you're right it is it is really good for 
um, healing and relaxing and things like that. I don't know the name of B you break the end of and put it on the burn. Don't know. Very pretty. Thank you, ladies. It's turning out so beautiful. You can clean your glue gun with your kitchen foil when not when it's not hot, but when it's nearly cold or cold. Rub the foil over the messy area. Okay. I'll have to remember that one. And remember the buttons. Never interested any plant unless it's checked. Also the yellow pin for Nalavina is natural laxative. Yep, found that one out. <laughs> Right, I'm going to cut this out and I'm going to use this because it's just right for what I want. I'm going to stick it down. Now I'm going to put the glue just in the middle for the nap for a minute. I'm going to put it on here rather than on my doily because the doily hasn't got much fabric to it. And as much as I like my fingers, I don't like them getting burnt. <laughs> Right, I haven't glued around the edges as of yet because I'm going to get the buttons out. Now, dig on my buttons. Oops, oops, a daisy. I've got the scissors. Um, I'm trying to get a needle. Have I got no, I haven't got the needle yet. Where's the needle gone? Oh, there it is. Right. Now I'm gonna I'm just gonna place a little bit of glue each side so it doesn't go anywhere. Okay. Now here are my buttons. Right, this is how I would do it. On the back of the buttons. There's like, mm, I don't know what you would call it, a loop, perhaps. Um, and you can cut the loop off and keep the button. And I cut mine off, not with a saw. <laughs> you ladies made me laugh Saturday when I used a saw. You cut the loop off and literally stick them on. Now I'm going to stick my pot on first before I stick that on. Um, no, I'm no, I'm not, because I've got stuffing to put inside it. i got stuffing, ladies. It's made in pin cushion. So I'm using toy stuffing before I glue the pot on. And I'm just breaking it apart. Now, I need something that's... That'll do. Paintbrush. End of a non-working paintbrush at the minute. And I'm just stuffing it. Full of stuffing inside this teapot. And I want it quite uh, full. You can put all, you could have fabric coming out of the top. If you're doing a sewing thing, you could, you don't have to make it into, because you can make it into anything you want to make it into. I'm going to put a little bit more. Um, still not quite full. I'm going to use a little bit of fabric for the top. How much stuffing does a teapot take? A little bit more. I keep saying a little bit more and I keep going, huh? There we are, that'll do. So I've stuffed um, stuffing inside there. Now I've poked it down and it's in noble nooks and crannies. The buttons up the side of me, I've lost them. Um, it's coming on nicely. Thank you, ladies. Uh, Clip. They make a button shank remover. I have them love it. Oh, is that what they they called button shank remover? Right. I need a little bit of fabric, but I'm not going to use fabric as in fabric. I'm going to use a small doily. 
because the opening of my teapot at the top isn't that big. So I've got that of a small of a doily. Now I'm going to cut him down a little bit more around the edges and then I'm going to stick him down. So that's right. I'm going to use, see where it's got like, I don't know, spikes, what would you call them? See the edges? I'm going to use them as my gluing points. And by glue and points, I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on one. And I'm going to stick him down. Use my spatula. And again, on another. So opposite end. And then you glue all the sides down because the the hole wasn't that big, you see? And then that one. Now you could totally up to you. You could make like a a little fabric cushion and stick that on top as well if you wanted one. You don't have to. And I'm going to stick with just that. Now I'm going to stick mine on you because that way then I can stick my buttons on. So I'm going to put quite a bit of glue on the bottom. And I'm going to stick him just there. This is at the side. You see how that's coming on. So I've got this, the stuffed, full of stuffing. And then I've got my plate. So, back to my buttons now. I have got this scissors. I'm going to put that aside just a second. I've got the scissors that needs gluing back together. And I was going to paint it, but I think, if I'm right in thinking, I think the, I think it would just fit just on top there, like so. See? I'm going to obviously stick it down, but I was going to paint it, but I'm thinking about it and I'm, hmm. No, I don't think I would. Um, cut, they make my love the little doily on top. Cute. Thank you, Dawn. Um, Shannon says, Oh, could see steam coming off your glue gun. Thought only mine did that. No, mine does it all the time. Never seen steam come off a glue gun before. It's probably because I'm laying it down because I could. Don't tell Chris again, but I broke the stand. Yeah. No, don't tell Chris. It's our secret. <laughs> our secret, ladies. Right, I'm going to glue this um, scissors down. Now, I need to be quick because I should have glued the first bit first. There we are. And then the last. Come on, ladies. Come on. There. Now, you're probably thinking, but I can still see the cracks. Yes, at the minute you can. I'm going to glue that doily down now. Can you see how it's coming on? I've got my little top for my um, thing. Could it be... Could it be because it reaches very high? Yes, it's um, oh, an industrial one. Well, where's Chris tonight? I 
I'll tell you where Chris was. Chris was on his Xbox until he interfered with my internet and when and the video was buffering. Um, and then he came off the Xbox. And I don't know where he is now. So I'm going to put this pin. Again, it's a button, don't forget. And I'm going to stick him just in the spout. See how this is coming on, ladies? And I'm just going to stick him in the spout. Like so. So it's a full sewing. Um, no, I don't want a sewing one. It's a full sewing teacup and saucer. Oops. This has come out and I don't mind because I can stick him back in. See how that's coming on? Um I love it, nice project. So sorry I got kicked out, I'm back now. I didn't kick you out, itty bitty crafts. Uh, sorry, girls, I postponed in as much as I could, but now my hubby is cooking and I have to go. Oh, thank you for stopping by, Gargoyle. I hope to see you Saturday and back on, Saturday at 7. Um, sad face because I have to go and not because he's cooking. Oh, bless. How's your head chocolate? Enjoy your five minutes. I'm going to make one my sound i'm gonna make one for my sound table okay my hedgehog um how's my hedgehog well i haven't seen her they've got buttons one i haven't seen her she was i'm gonna keep the loop at the back because i was gonna help me stand it up um she was coming up the path but i haven't seen her Oh, no, tell, I haven't seen her. Chris saw her oh, a couple of days ago now. And he told me that he saw her running down the path. And she literally scaddled down the path. She ran that quick. And he was saying that he was surprised because we didn't realise how fast hedgehogs could actually run. By gosh, they could run. So I've got some pearl trim here and i've got some white trim now you're probably thinking hmm where is she gonna put that well i've got these spools now there i'm doing this sort of pink and girly yes but i am doing it um with the wooden spools on and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cut the trim off to about by there so it, it's i've cut mine two four six eight ten twelve but 14 inches but i'm not going to need that um i've got two spools here i think i'm going to go with a bigger one because i'm using a pearl strand i'm going to glue some a little bit of pearl strand on my spool and i'm going to wind it around Now it is a bit fiddly because it's a pearl strand. But you can see how pretty that is. How pretty it looks. Yes, um cargo Saturday at seven. So we'll always be Tuesday and Saturday. So Saturday at seven and I'll do another project. So see you then. Thank you for stopping by, Gargoyle. No, you didn't kick me out loud. The internet knocked me off. I'm here now. Ah, oh, bless. I love that idea. Well, you're welcome to use it, Deanna. Um, I've never seen anybody... Have you seen anybody wrap ribbon around a spoil but never bead, bead string? Um, and I'm going to put my bead string... Remember I said I didn't want to paint... I was keeping the handle and the spout the different colour. Well, I'm going to put my pearl string just sitting on top there. Now, you could if you wanted to. And I wish I had some. I think, I'm, yeah, well, 
So I've got some, you know, that wool stranding I used earlier. I'm going to fold it in half. Where's that strand gone? Now, this might require a needle. Now, will that go through? Yeah, that will go through. I'm going to put that on my needle. Do you know why I got those cosmetic shimmers out? And I didn't even use them. The idea was I was going to use them on the um, doily, but see how you get things out? And I changed my mind halfway through. I need to cut the end off that. Come on, fingers won't work. There. Okay, so it's on my needle. I'm going to take it through the spool. Take it off the needle. Right, and this is what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to stick it on top of the spout. And now I want, where I've glued, where I've stopped gluing the beaded strand that is going to glue straight down on the teapot so you don't see it so i'm just gonna everybody's been asking where you are chris oh, i'm quiet quiet watching my film see oh that wasn't enough glue <laughs> yeah i have been watching but i haven't been looking at the comments oh everybody's been asking where you are oh yeah i'm here Hello. <laughs> there we are. Yeah. See how that's turning out. Oh, I'm using every part of the teapot because I don't want to. I'm going to cut this at an angle, but I'm going to leave it quite long. Now you could put, you can keep putting your needle through so you get like two, three, four strands. It's so totally up to you. But I'm going to tie that off because I don't want it coming off. And then tie the other end off. So like I say, this teapot wasn't big at all. It was, what was it, four by two? Mm -hmm. It's disappeared, Shannon, and you stopped in to see whether I was finished filming. <laughs> Somebody's keen to go on his Xbox. I think, I think, I think. There, see? I'm using every bit of that teapot because I don't want to just concentrate on the top. Now, I haven't forgotten about the lid. I am going to come back to it. Um, I've got my thimble next. I'm going to keep the back on it because I want it stood, so, sort of stood up if I can grip it and not burn my fingers at the same time. Oh, come on. Right. See? Now, the doily wasn't stuck down on that side. Um, and I've got, I'm just having a look, I've got another button here I can play about with and I've got small scissors. Now, I don't know about everybody else but I always seem to have like three, four pairs of scissors for different things. I don't know why, I just do. Yeah, I'm going to stick him on top just for this so I don't need to take the back off. The back sometimes can act as a stand, so it makes it it makes it look three D, even though it's not. Right? Can you see how that's coming on? Right now, my lid. Oh, I love the tiny scissors. I have got a dressmaker's thing, and I'm playing about toying with the idea of standing her up, so she stands up like that. I think I might stand it up. I'm 
and I'm going to put a little bit on the top so she doesn't there can you see that so I've got the scissors I've got the beading I've got all that the needle there the beading it's all coming along you can like I said, I wanted my... I was going to stick flowers on the bottom and I thought, nah, that's not really sewing type. Right, my lid. Now, I'm looking for... On the wrong side. I'm looking for something to just go on top here. Because I don't want to... Oh, I know what I've got. These pins. These pins, I haven't got a clue where they've come from. They are, don't even know what they're called. I'll show you what they are now. These are the pins. They're sort of round on that side. Now I'm hoping that it'll fit round the lid. And it does. Because, mm, don't know whether I've got some. Let me see. Again, keeping the theme of sewing. Um, just having a look to see what I've got. Because I want to dandle something from there, see? Um, I know, what about some of this? I would have some beaded. No, we always have beaded. Hmm. Oh, I've got some dark pink and light pink. Have we got clear? No, oh, we've got some silver. Yeah, that'll do. That will do. Yeah. Right. No? I'm going to put the bead in through my loop. Yeah. First. Through here. Yeah. And then the other one through. So there's three different types, three different colours. You could use beading. I'm going to use these. Right, and then I'm going to put some glue on the top so that sits right on the top. You need to hold it there because I don't want mine coming off anytime soon. Anytime soon. Right. Now I've got all my beaded strand there. Um, it is going to be get glued. So what I need to do to secure that, I need to glue it. Mm, glue it, glue it, glue it. Yes, I do. Trying to think how to glue that. Lean your strand over. So I've glued some on the edge and I've leaned two pieces of strand over. Now I'm going to glue some on that pink to lean the light pink over. Like I say, you could use chain and make an actual dangle. That's what I was looking for originally, but I haven't got any around me so the top now I did have a round button I'm going to put a round button on the top cut the top back off oh goodness me come on there we are. I'm going to put some glue on the back and then glue them on top See, and because I want to follow that trim round, I might, no, it's too thick, it's looking too thick, won't use that. Might use this trim that we made earlier. Yeah, it's just perfect for what I needed to do over there. So, I'm going to put the trim on first before I put the uh, button on. Any questions?
any questions I can answer them as I go along um, if you want to know where the inspiration came to do this teapot um, it was from me I didn't I haven't seen anybody do a teapot before um, and like I say I like unusual different things um, things like that I always have done um, I'm going to glue the button on top so when I saw these I mean they came by accident because when I tapped in miniature cups and saucers these turned up and I weren't sending them back So because I want to use the lid now if I was to put it there where am I going to put my pins so I am going to put it on top of the handle now because it's got a gap in the it'll fit like the top of that let me show you top of the handle because it's sort of it's not round all the way it sort of points up this has got a gap in the middle if you put that on there it'll sit there absolutely need glue, glue but it'll actually sit straight on top now i'm going to put my glue on the top here and then i'm going to put the lid on Ha ah, nearly, nearly <laughs> glue gun. And secure it. There we are. Can you see how that's come on? We've used, I've used every bit of this teapot and I haven't left one bit out. Now I'm going to cut mm -hmm. those strands down a little because I don't want them as long. And I'm going to cut them at different lengths. Yeah, um, this one needs to be cut down. Don't throw any of your bits out because you never know when it comes in. Lid dandle so cute. Oh, thank you, Dawn. So, I've used every bit of that. Now, like I say to you at the very start, I've got my pins. Now, I'm not going to decorate these pins because I'm going to put a few in. Um, that one didn't have any glue on. Yeah. Just going to put different pins in, and you can dress these pins up and you can dress them down. Um, I'm going to put quite a few, couple, couple more in and then I am going to give this to the first lucky person who wants it. So if you want it, like I say, tap me into the comments and then I can pick from there. Now I've put five, two, like I've got these type of pins, they've got an oval head to them. I've put two of that, three of them in, and I'm going to put another ball one in. Ball-headed pin in. Two hearts, and because they're tilde hearts as well, see. Put three of them in, and then two of the little ones. And that is my teapot. Now I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for bearing with me, everybody. I'm going to pick the winner in a second. Um, but that is my teapot. I'm not going to dress it. I'm not going to do the pins because you can do them. And if you do do them, please send me a picture. I'd love to see what you do with it. Um, I'll just describe what I've done. You did so much with it. such a tiny teapot. Great job. Thanks, Dawn. Um, so let me describe it. So I've first you saw me paint both the teapot and the, the tea plate. Painted it with white acrylic first. Though I will use that tip that you mentioned about using white acrylic with PVA to give me gesso, gesso. <laughs> and then I painted it with 
the baby pink pink the white uh, the wilkinson's emulsion then i create then i only glued two pieces of trim to the teapot made my own um plaited trim made my own of these to put on the spout of the teapot i've then stuffed the teapot full of stuffing put the little tiny doily on top and the big one to match on the bottom i've put all sewn embellishments all things that you would associate sewing with because if it was going to become a pin cushion it had to become all sewing related i've got like the bead hanging down the needle i've used the lid i've put a button on top of the lid i've used some beading i've used like a broken scissors that i had off an old box just it, it's just from round the bottom to the top filled with all sorts of um sewing related stuff see and it's all stuck down i'm not decorating the pins because you guys can do that so you did such a so much of a tiny teapot great job thank you dawn i will find out the ratio of my plant to pva and let you know oh thank you angie yes please i'm trying to spot very pretty so let me see who wanted it dawn holly dina or angie love it christopher let him pick a letter love it oh Shannon. pick a letter Oh, come on, Chris. No, nobody's going to name Z unless she's Zorro. Zorro? Zorro? No. Um, M. No. Oh, yes. Much Shannon. M. Shannon Morrissey, you have won this little sewing teapot. Oh, of course, Morrissey Arts and Crafts Design Studio. Oh, um, wow. That's who's won it. So, Shannon, you have won this little a teapot. Let me know when um, if you decorate the pins. Congratulations, Shannon. Um, Chris was there picking a letter. I've done it as fairly as I could. Um, I don't know whether you guys think I should, like, on my group, what I usually do when I'm debating stuff or picking letters i usually put everybody's name in a hat and draw it that way i don't know whether you guys want me to do it like that next time i do a giveaway i don't know let me know thank you everybody for sticking around hopefully shannon you'll feel a lot better please tell me that's you not the glue gun oh yeah that's me sorry chris is behind me smoking a vapor escape and i'm thinking this is the glue gun <laughs> days <laughs> um yeah angie if you let me know what the ratio is between pva and um acrylic white paint then i will um definitely do that because i definitely want to have a go with doing that so shannon's put it's cheered me up no end well done shannon excellent Bitty Bitty craft says thank you glad i caught some of your show Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Claire. Well, my next live show is Saturday at 7 o'clock. It'll always be on a Tuesday and it'll always be on a Saturday. Um, so I will create an event after I've done this video. And we will not be playing musical videos on Saturday. I will not press anything on my device. I promise. Um, and I'm so glad you guys came from the second video over to this one. So, Shannon, you have won this little um, pin pin pot, should we call it? Uh, congratulations. Like I say, give it a go. Let me know, though, Shannon, if you decorate those pins. I'm challenging you to decorate those pins. Um, and I will see you all on Saturday at 7 o'clock. Sweetest little teapot, yes. My pin pot, I'm going to call it. But thank you everybody for sticking around. I will catch you all on Saturday with another excellent project. Um, I might do the fairy house on Saturday. We might have some giggles on Saturday and do the fairy house. 
definitely want to have a go at that. I think I might do, before everybody goes, I might do this one. Or... Oh, wait, I know what Chris is getting. I'm going to have to move this up away. Ladies, stick around because I might do this project. It's not this one Chris is thinking of. Chris is actually thinking of this one. This project. It's called Pixie Parlor. And it's... Oh, God, what is it, Chris? It's like a butternut squash. But yeah, a, but it's... It's a certain... It it's a certain plant but fruit from overseas. And I can't think for the life of me. But the compartment's open. I have started a little bit on the inside. But... Uh, the top opens too. And I've got the stairs and... The windows open all the way around. See? All the way around. And they've got little shelves. So, I will do this project, I think. Um, Gord might be. Deanna De might be. It's Gord. There we are. So, I might do this project on Saturday. And if you see, I don't know whether the camera will pick it up. That little fountain in there. So, yeah. Like I say, I bought it with bits it's stuck in already. But I want to do my own thing. I've started putting moss underneath. So, I might, yeah, definitely. I will do this on Saturday. Pixie Parlour on Saturday. With all the windows, the shelves. Um... And decorate it up. I'll get all the bits and pieces I need. And we'll decorate up that Saturday. And do it up. Um, to go with my little fairy thing that I made. So congratulations Shannon. Um, I will see you all on Saturday at 7 o'clock. Um, and yes it is cute. And I will see you all at 7 and 7. With Pixie Parlour. Me and Pixie Parlour will be doing her house up. Congratulations, Shannon. Well done on winning. I speak to you all on uh, Saturday. Good night now. Um, enjoy the rest of your week. Bye for now.